In 2020, if you're flying FPV drones, chances are your quad is probably flying on beta flight. Um, however, there are some other options out there, um, including Emu flight, Clean flight, Butterflight, to name a few. In this video, I'd like to show you how to set up Emu flight on your drone. Um, in this example, I'm going to use the Mobula 6 and I'm going to install the Emu flight um, firmware as well as um, set up the Project Mockingbird configuration. Let's get to it. If you're curious and you would like to learn more about Emu Flight, um, maybe you should know that it's a beta flight fork that implements some more opinionated features. And some people claim that it improves how their quads fly out of the box on stock config. I hear that even more um, regarding small micro drones. I'm not going to try to convince you to move your entire fleet to Emu Flight, and I'm definitely not going to do that myself, but I figure um, it might be interesting to try it out, um, experiment with it. The Mobula 6 is in many ways the perfect candidate to do that. If you want to learn more about Emu Flight, however, I do recommend watching Joshua Barlow's interview with Kevin Plazier. As far as Project Mockingbird goes, um, it claims to deliver the best angle mode config for your brushed whoops. Project Mockingbird can be set up with Betaflight as well. Emu Flight is not a requirement. It's basically a bunch of configuration to make your whoops fly even more awesome. Uh, project Mockingbird is strictly a whoop micro drone project, and you can join the community in their Facebook group. Link in, in the description. So to get on with today's uh, video, we're going to start by downloading uh, Emu Flight and the required configuration files. You could just Google for Emu Flight and then land on their GitHub page. Uh, we're going to be interested in this uh, Emu Flight repository as, le as well as the Emu configurator. In addition, you're going to need a couple of uh, configuration files. Um, I have I have the files readily available on my blog. You can just grab them off there. We're going to need the emuflight 02 uh, crazybf4fr hex file, as well as the um, Project Mockingbird configuration diff. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the emu configurator. You should go to the releases tab and grab the latest um, official release or pre-release. In my case, I'm going to be using the emu configurator uh, 0.2.12 release candidate 2. Under assets, you can find the file for your operating system and download it and install it. Once you have Emu Flight installed, you can run it. And before we get into any flashing, um, the first most important thing you should always do before doing any um, firmware changes to your quads is to consider backing up your existing configuration. I'm just going to plug in my uh, Mobula 6. It connected on COM port 4, we can connect the quad. Um, if you head on over to the CLI tab, you might see some warnings. Uh, in my case, I've already flashed Emu Flight, but if you're still running Better Flight, you might see some warnings. That's okay, you can still use the CLI. And we only want to do one thing here. You should type in the dump command, hit enter. That's going to display the entire configuration. Um, if you scroll all the way to the top, you should make um, take note and make sure that the version um, is one of the first thing that runs because this um, displays your original target um, that you want to flash for. So I have here all my configuration and I'm going to just hit save to file, call it backup or whatever you want to call it and save it. Now I have a copy of my configuration and we're clear to proceed. To do the actual flashing, um, let's once again connect your Mobula 6 or whatever craft you're using and click the Update Firmware button. Um, you want to make sure that the target is CrazyBF4FR if you're following along and you have the same 
um, configuration as me. If you're using a Mobila 6, the board is the Crazy BF4 Lite. And the FR um, stands for the FR Sky version. That's the one I'm using. Uh, yours could be a Fly Sky or else. However, it doesn't really, I think, matter a whole lot what we're going to select here because um, the only available firmware, at least as, as of right now, is the 0.1.0 right from within the configurator. And that's why we downloaded the configuration files um, earlier. Um, so instead of loading firmware online, we're going to click the load firmware local button and we're going to select the uh, hex file that we downloaded earlier, the emu flight 0.2.0 crazy b f4 fr.hex. Um, just as a side note, if you're unsure or if you, for whatever reason, don't want to download um, the file off of my uh, blog, you can also grab this from emu flight, not from the emu flight configurator, but from emu flight repository. Go to releases, look for um, assets. And then under assets, you can find that exact same file. I've only linked to it for uh, convenience. Once we have the firmware uh, loaded locally, just click flash firmware. And at this point, your um, board should start flashing. It's currently erasing and then it's going to proceed to um, flashing the firmware. If you hit any snags uh, for whatever reason, I'm going to show you how to resolve most of your potential issues with the uh, Impose RC driver fixer tool. There we have a successful flash. Um, but before we proceed, um, as I mentioned, I'm just going to quickly show you if you have any issues. Um, you should just run the Impulse RC driver fixer. Just going to search for a flight controller and then it's going to uh, install the DFU drivers required. You can find the Impulse RC driver fixer by just Googling for it. and grabbing it off of Impulse RC's download page. Next, we're gonna take a look at how to uh, set up the Project Mockingbird uh, configuration. Connect your Mobila or whatever quad you're using and connect. And then go to the CLI tab and click Load from File. Here, we're going to point to the um, diff of the configuration we downloaded um, also earlier. I think you can find this diff probably on uh, Project Mockingbird's Facebook page. Once you're ready, just run execute. Once the setup has been written, um, the quad will restart. And then we can proceed to continuing uh, setting it up. Now, before, of course, we go out flying, we should uh, absolutely validate and adjust the configuration. There are for sure at least a few things that need to be changed, at least on the uh, Mobila 6 versus the stock configuration. And as always, it's just highly recommended to check what kind of configuration you're flying. Um, we could just go over the, the main points. Uh, not much to do on the setup tab, not much to do on the ports tab. Um, on the configuration tab, it's uh, important to have motor, motor di direction as reversed. Um, that's because at least I believe most Mobila 6, uh, 6 are coming in um, props out mode. At least mine was in props out mode. If for whatever reason your configuration here shows uh, props in, make sure to make it props out, save and reboot. Connect again, um, continuing the configuration. Most of the rest of the configuration is pretty straightforward and looks okay for the better part. You want to have accelerometer on, uh, make sure that you're in SPI RX 
um, mode for the receiver. And in my case, FR Sky underscore D is the correct one because I'm using D8 to bind. Um, if you're using some something else, uh, you might have to change that. Not much else to do um, on this tab. Battery and power, not much to do. Uh, pit tuning, go nuts. Um, if you feel like it, I would just like to. I would just like to uh, try the stock configuration first. Uh, if you go to the receiver tab, take note of the channel map and definitely make sure you change it if it doesn't match what you're flying. Um, I fly my. I fly the uh, Tyrannus X Lite. And um, my setup is always T A E R one two three four, so that's wrong. And now that I've um, changed it, I should save that. Now my channels should be correct. Finally, modes in the modes tab. I think for now I'm just gonna roll with the stock configuration. From what we can tell, they're using um, three switches. Um, AUX1, which is your channel 5 um, switch in the mixer screen of your radio, um, is being used for arming on the high values. So um, while the switch is in its resting state, so to speak, um, obviously it's not arming your quad. When you pull away from it, it's going to arm your quad. Then um, AUX2, which is channel 6, is going to be the one setting between angle horizon in in the mid and um or actually acro in the low position by default horizon in the middle and angle um at the high position all good here so not much really to change if you're good with those you could also adjust uh, osd um settings if you would like to do that but for now as i mentioned i think i'm good with the defaults if you had previously flown this quad um, already on the stock config, chances are you don't have to add any new switches in the mixer screen of the radio, probably already have those set up. But if you don't have any assigned, make sure to assign at least two um, switches, one two position switch to channel five for arming in a three position switch to channel six for the different flight modes. And finally, one last thing, you probably will have to bind the drone again to the radio. It's not a biggie, um, but yeah, just, just follow the procedure as always. Um, put the radio in bind mode, plug in a battery in the Mobulus 6, press the bind button. Um, wait for the LED to, to blink, then exit the transmitter binding mode, unplug the drone battery, plug it back in, and then um, pay attention for a solid uh, green LED on the receiver. And that's really the whole setup. Um, my initial impressions um, flying EMU flight with the uh, Project Mockingbird settings was, well, the first thing I immediately noticed was the yaw axis was super sensitive and responsive. At the same time, the pitch axis seemed to be kind of slow and not really picking up um, the input that much. This seems to be on purpose. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with those projects, but I assume that that's on purpose. Um, I will have, it seems like it might take like some getting used to, I'm not sure. Um, I like it though. I, I think I prefer, um, doing my turns with some raw input as well. Kind of like when you're flying uh, five inch drones, but I could assume that this is probably better for racing micro quads. Um, I need to get in uh, a bunch more flights for sure, but that was the first thing I immediately, um, noticed. Otherwise, in terms of performance and flight time, um, I didn't notice any big changes. It seems like um, the flight times I was reaching both indoors and outdoors were more or less the same as previously. So at least no, no performance hit there. And even after flying a bunch more batteries um, on it, I still kind of love and hate the tune at the same time. On one hand, I really dislike that the yo axis controls 90% of the turns of, my, of the turn input. Um, on the other hand, um, I kind of like it. It kind of works well, at least indoors. Um, I should also mention that uh, if you go to acro mode, that's not the case. Then the yo be axis behaves um, kind of normal, as you probably would expect. 
I'm considering flashing a Betaflight 4.1 um, to the Mobula 6 in order to be able to compare it um, against the Emu flight and against the um, stock Mobula 6 3.5.7 uh, configuration. I also did an outdoor flight. I caught a pretty windy day with strong winds, but luckily coming in gusts. So um, there was quiet moments in between. Um, the quad behaves, again, I flew both acro and angle mode out of curiosity. Normally I fly only acro mode um, outdoors on micro drones even. Mm. Again, I didn't notice anything way too different in terms of how the quad uh, behaved uh, with EMU flight. The flight was pretty much um, on par as usual. The only maybe bigger thing is the yaw axis being um, very sensitive on input. This was just a quick small project for me, so take it for what it is. Um, it might not be for everyone, um, and I'm not really sure this is there is like a one true setup that's gonna solve all your cases. I believe that configuration is there for a reason and should always be situational, so you, it should adapt to whatever your needs are in terms of flying um, FPV drones. Um, I've been hearing from many people um, reporting very decent results with Betaflight 4.1, um, so I'm very curious uh, to try that on the Mobula 6. At the same time, I really can't complain about how the quad flew on 3.5.7 either. I was pretty happy with it. Um, the EMU flight was also okay, like no strong feelings about it. It was definitely interesting to try it out and to share it with you guys. But I'd be lying if it blew my mind or something. Um, if you feel like trying it out, go for it. If not, enjoy your mobile as it is. On the other hand, you can always uh, flash back to Betaflight and paste in the stock config. Let me know what works for you and what you prefer. So drop a comment down below. Whatever you choose, have fun and happy flying.